that's happened to me before. That's why I don't go for him. He gives me not very many good things, plus I have a ton of everything he could give me. Spend all your watts on the uh, other dude. Much time has passed since my last visit to your mother's grave. Yet it is well tended. This is your work, Bat Zorig. Yes, father, it is my work. Mother was with a great eye for beauty. She would be angered if it were untidy. It is so, yet I fail to recognize it. I have caused you much hardship, my son. Your mother was a strong woman, a fitting wife for a tribal chief. My heart is sad that she does not see you today. She does not see her boy as a man, as a tribal chief. Mother, rest well. I will guide all people wisely. You must be without fear for the people of Basarag now. You also pay. You also pay your respects, monkey. My mother is she here with us? If she's with us, you must tell her to rest peacefully, and that she need not be with worry for her son. I see you, Batsorig. I see you. My heart is proud. You have become a great man. I thank you, Funky. Now I am with no concerns. Now I will rest. Well, we gathered all the figs. Can you guess what happens next? So you want to take a board? You better tell. Where are we going? The observatory. It's time for an anime. I don't know how many figs there are all together, but I reckon we've hunted and gathered enough to do a delivery run. We get what we've got. If we get what we've got back to the observatory, though, that'll probably take a bit of weight off your Celestarian's friend's mind. Not to mention making it look pretty good into the Huh? W what's that light? Well met, Funky. It has been some time. Who the flap's this? He looks like another Celestrian. Is he a friend of yours, Funky? Anyway, he's your teacher. You and your surprises, honestly. I am Stella. I work here on the South, uh, on the south Light. So it was you who traveled in search of the figs, Funky. I might have guessed. Oh, cold shoulder treatment, is it? Well, two can well two kids play that at play at that game, and so can fi so can I. Must allow me to deliver the figs to the observatory, Funky. Come now, eat your master. Will you permit me to take them? <sighs> we reluctantly hands... Funky reluctantly hands over all of the figs she has worked so hard to gather. Excellent. You have gathered all seven of the figs that fell to the realm below. But I would expect no less of you, my pupil. Your wise to entrust them in my care. Now I... <sighs> Oh, frighteningly well, frightfully well done, Aquila, old boy. Now you'll be a good fellow and drop by the palace with them as promised, won't you? Of course, your majesty. What was that weird posh voice? What the flap's going on? Why'd you give that this weird of the figs? We had to sweat blood, sweat, and tears to get the those, you idiot. You intend to try and stop me? There's no time for sentimentality. If you stand in my way, I have no choice but to cut you down. Mm -hmm. 
We try to act, but find ourselves unable to. The efforts are futile as Celestrian may not take arms against a superior. Funky. Funky, what have you what have you done? She's 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 dead to the world. Farewell. Funky, he's making off with the figs. Come on, snap yourself out of it. Open your eyes and shine. Otherwise, I'll... What the flippity flap is that? That's a Dargan. The operation was a huge success, I trust, Aquila. Lieutenant Hottingham Gore. You were sent to watch over me, I take it. Ho ho ho, not at all, my dear chap. I'm no sticky beak. I was just passing by, and who oh, should I see but your fine self? But now that you mention it, we're still not sure if you're someone who can be trusted. You need not worry, I have the figs. Ho oh, oh, ho, splendid. Now I have another little dude I'd like you to help out with. I'm heading for up over. It's time that menace to wit the hero of the heavens was wiped out once and for all. Bob Barbarus here, who is so kindly lending his services to the Gettish Empire, is all fired up about humiliating him. Why don't we have a little demonstration about how fired up? Ho 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 ho. Who the flap was that? And what's this up over place? And who's the hero of the heavens? Uh oh, that felt too much like a dragon attack to me. Uh oh. Funky, come on, don't let go, guys. No good. Looks like keeping hold of your clauses. I lost flapping cars. <laughs> Oi, Funky, you haven't bought a farm, have you? I would have thought it would take a lot more than that to finish off a Celestrian. Are, are you alright? <laughs> Wake up! This lady's in a terrible state, but she's still alive. We have to help her quickly. Why are you all just standing there? Aren't you going to... Well, I can't just look on without at least trying to help. Stay with me now, Will. I'll soon have you better. Oh, come on, Sleepy Bones. You've been soaring away for ages now. Rise and shake a leg. Wakey, wakey. Time to shine. Last year, awake. Thank Flap for that. Oh, you had me. Why would you did? Anyway, there's no time for me to be singing songs of praise. Your so-called teacher hopped onto that black dragon and flapped off with all the flapping figs. You have to go after him. Come on out. Up, up, up. Great, you're awake. Your injuries were so awful I was worried you might not make it. But you're looking remarkably really well. I'm Wallace. What's your name? Funky. I said, well, it's nice to meet you, Funky. I don't suppose you remember what happened, do you? It's just after that black dragon flew over the village. She washed up on the shore in a terrible state. That was the one who bound you. Awake, is she? Isn't it wonderful, Unc? I mean, Mare. It looks like Funky's going to be completely fine. Right, well, if you're fit again, you can come to the meeting this evening at the church and explain yourself. What? You're gonna make her come to the meeting, but she's barely been conscious five minutes. Listen, Wally, you're one of us now, a citizen of Wormwood Creek. So you better learn to toe the line, alright? Got it. Come to the church tonight. I'll let you stick around the village until then. I'm awfully sorry, Funky. It looks as if you don't have a choice in the matter. 
You have anything to do with that black dragon, did you, Funky? Surely there's no real need to make you go along to this meeting, is there? Don't forget to come to the church this evening. If it wasn't for that, I'd be asking you to leave here right now for honors aren't welcome in Warmwood Creek. Well, if you need me, I'll just kind of be destroying things. No, oh, darling, but you won't find no mates here. The village was destroyed once before because of foreigners. I don't know the details. It was before my time, but everyone here knows that nothing good comes from trusting outsiders. <laughs> it's over 15. Eh, hey, good day, y'all. Any next? Could you help an old digger out and look after me precious egg? Eh? Thrives off its carrier's love and affection, see? That's what helps it grow with more attention and lavish it the faster it develops. You'll be able to look after this little beaut for me. Should be no worries with your divine protection, eh? You just head outside one more quick and defend yourself from attacks, eh? 30 times? Not good enough for me. Can't go whipping out though, escape from battle and it won't count. You gotta see it through to the end. You're gonna see that little blot you yeah, through till it hatches? That's the least you're gonna have to be able to handle. Uh, sure. Right, I will give you the egg then. Or a little cobbler. I'm just handing you over to this good priest. So, I'll do you there. It's all yours then. Don't let me down. It's a whirly girly. <laughs> Defended once. So is it defend against 30 attacks or just defend 30 times? Okay, so it is the way I thought it would be. So basically, Emily, you're just gonna have to get abused 28 more times. One. And now you're dancing. Eight, nine, 
thing. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. We learned whipping boy. Watch. Good job. You took that abuse like a champion, Emily. Normal dragons are bad enough. I think we had a jet black one flying over us. All scaling centers are. Oh, what am I doing talking to a fauna about village affairs? Forget I spoke. Now well, that shown me your heart's in the right place and you're dead set on looking after me egg, so uh, I got this for you. I got a robe. A pinafore. But is bat attached already? That goes to show how kind you are. Yeah, maybe I could even let you take care of one of it once it hatches as well. I don't know. Tell you what, you're holding this. You showed me your heart's in the right place, but you're not experienced enough as a priest. Would you last 40? Jesus. <laughs> Perfect, right? I can't tell if sarcasm or not. So you don't like it. Got it. The tongue says otherwise. <gasps> it's fuck you, yay! Of course it is. Wait. You think I'd, I, I'd leave you with an ugly character? Nah.
Slight good gracious. I have been home my dulcet tones as well. How fortunate for you. Meet the master of metamorphosis, the magical monarch of mutation. I am a crackpot. Alchemy, my girls, the ancient all mixing arms together. I do want to use you, crackpot. Let me see something. <laughs> Do I have... Sorry, I'm looking at things. I was just looking at things I could do. 
which is nothing yet. Anyway, back to Wormwood Creek. Of course not. I didn't say it did. No, fuck you was dancing. Fuck you grew a level. Level up through dance. That trailer walls was helping you. Yeah. Up and about already, oh, even after all them injuries, you ain't no one she like you. You're a bit special, I reckon. Tell you what, if you reckon you can handle them, you should buy some of your weapons before you leave. I. I'm not really supposed to sell anything to foreigners, you know, but watch them all when he was helping you out before. I, I don't know, I just felt. Oh, it doesn't matter, but listen, as long as you don't go shouting about it, I'll let you shop here if you like. I. Gonna pop this pointless back. What is this? We have sell foreigners. They say it's discrimination. I've come along with you. The weapons and armor they make here. This is supposed to be amazing. <laughs> I mean, you can always steal them, mate. That's what I do. If I want something, I just take it. Of how George approaches the problem with Parallax. What? Uh huh. Nice. Do you have a heavy ball? <laughs> 